Okay, welcome to step number one of your mobile GDO installation. In this step, we're going to be talking about installing the uh, door position sensors, uh, the magnet and then the sensor base itself. Um, right now, you can see a uh, installed sensor and base uh, to the chain on this particular garage door opener. This here is the magnet, and this here is the sensor. The magnet is attached to the chain with a couple of zip ties here and here and then the base is installed with double sided sticky tape make sure you clean this very very well so I'm rubbing alcohol is a good cleaning solution to put on and then peel the double sided sticky tape and stick it to the rail there's a higher shot you can take a peek at that now the key thing when installing these sensors is to make sure that you get them in the, on the right side of the chain. There's two sides to this rail. This side and the chain is also on the other side. And I'll flip around so that you guys can see that. But what you want to make sure is that the chain is traveling in the right direction so that the sensor doesn't get caught up in the gear of the garage door opener. So when you push open on here, you want that sensor to travel down that way as the chain moves. So I'm going to open up the garage door here and you can see how it's supposed to react. And there you have it. So a good method for making sure that you're putting this on the right side when you're attaching these things is to actually just take a piece of tape where you think that the sensor should go, to some masking tape, wrap it around and then engage your opener and make sure that it's traveling in the right direction. If it's traveling in the right direction, then you know where to mount your sensor. If it goes in the wrong direction, you'll see that little piece of tape will go around that little gear there and it won't really cause you any trouble. At least you'll know you have it done correctly. Um, that's it for this part of the video. What I'm going to do is just move around over to the other side and you can see how the other side works. Okay, this is the other side. So what you'll notice here is that the garage door is currently closed and the sensor is actually way down there. Or the magnet is actually way down there, sorry. There's the sensor base installed on the main support frame. Double-sided sticky tape. You can see here that they're already wired, so I'll give you an idea how to wire them. Um, but again, what you would do at this point to make sure you get your sensors positioned in the right place is you'd put a piece of sticky tape around it and activate the opener. And make sure that it's traveling in the right direction. If you get one side right, the other side will obviously fall into place. But what you want to make sure if you make a little flag of tape is that when the garage door is closed, open it all the way. Here, I'll do that. there you go. Now that the door is open, the sensor is aligned itself with this side of the, the magnet has aligned itself with this side of the base and that's what's telling the mobile GDO that your garage door is open. So they flip-flop. There's a really good diagram on the website. I suggest you download it, uh, take a look at it, print it off. It kind of explains an overhead shot of how this action works on, uh, on the direction of travel. Um, you want to make sure that you get these installed in a safe distance from this guy here. This is where the chain attaches, which then goes to your garage door, which opens and closes it. But if you get this correct, there will be no interference whatsoever. So that's it for these videos. And uh, we'll see you at step two.